Hey guys, and welcome back to our Vortex tutorial series. I'm Jack, and today I'm going to be talking to you about load order in Bethesda RPGs. So we're talking Oblivion, Skyrim, Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, and Starfield. Sorry Morrowind players. If you're not looking to mod or manage any of the games that I just mentioned, you might be more interested in this video, where I talk more generally about plug-in load order. But for those of you wanting to slay dragons with a lightsaber, or tackle the wasteland in a cat suit, then stick around. Sorry Morrowind players. Let's tackle the elephant in the room. What even is load order? It's a pretty common term that you'll come to see if you spend some time in the modding community, so it's important that we tell you what it means. It's often loosely used to just mean the mods that you're adding to a game. So if you say, I'm adding a mod to my load order, it just means you're adding a mod to your game. It does have a more specific meaning though, which is that load order is the order in which the data files are loaded into your game. So why does this matter? And why should you care about the order in which your data files are loaded in? Well, consider this example. You've got a mod that increases the value of a specific shield in your game by five gold. Then, you've got a mod that increases the value of all shields in your game by 10 gold. The problem comes because both mods are trying to interact with the same game object, and it creates what we call a conflict. So which mod wins out in the conflict? Well, it's whichever mod comes last in your load order. We want our shields to have the higher value, so we'll choose this mod to come last in our load order. Luckily, for most Bethesda RPGs, Vortex uses a system called Loot. It's a community sourced set of information about which mods work well together and how they should be installed. Vortex handles this automatically, so you can add as many mods as you want without ever really having to worry about your plugin load order. However, if Loot hasn't been updated yet for your most recent mod edition, you may run into some file conflict issues. Vortex uses a rule-based system that lets you determine which data files should be loaded before or after another. The rules that you set will be set in stone and will always be respected, so you can add as many mods as you like and those rules will never be changed. If you're looking to set your own load order, you'll have to navigate to the Plugins tab here in Vortex. You'll see a list of files that will be installed into your game. You can see the load order in this column and sort them by using this button at the top of the list. To set your own rules, drag this button from one mod to another, drawing a nice green line between them. If you have a lot of mods, it may be easier to use the Manage Rules button on the toolbar. Then simply search for the mods in question. You can then tell Vortex if a mod must be loaded after, requires, or is incompatible with another mod. And ultimately, it's as simple as that. But if you're looking to get more technical, do check out the official Nexus Mods forum or the official modding Discord. Links to both are in the description. But for now, thanks for watching. And if you want to find more modding content, then hit subscribe and check out the other videos on our channel. We've got loads of videos on some of the best mods for some of your favorite games, so do check them out. Thanks for watching. Bye.